welcome back to the realm of unpopular opinions and today I am doing a video that I'm not sure if anyone wants to watch but I love watching and that is going to be an actual full flip through of this bullet journal my first bullet journal that I've been using since 2019. I bought the notebook therapy one for <laughs> for my next journal and I was trying to fill this one up as quick as possible because I really wanted to get on with the new one with the thick paper so there's going to be some not crap but filler in the end because I couldn't physically stand the thought that a page might not be filled but other than that this is February 2019 through March 2021 full flip through almost everything except for March is filled in so you can see what it looks like and I hope that you enjoy. So as I already said in my previous video, this is a Lorstrom 1917 in gray hardcover decorated by me. <laughs> now let's finally flip through the entire thing. This is the completed index. Here I thought I would spread it out more but I just didn't. So. I'm going to try and go slowly, but considering they already flipped through this part and commented in my journals video, I don't really see the point of doing it again. And like for this, now I have a separate journal, <laughs> so I won't be doing that again. When we get to the parts where I didn't already show you, I'm going to go slower. This is just a rundown. And this is all 2019, which now feels like it was three years ago. And this I'm probably going to do again. And we're finally getting to the horror that is 2020. So. Here we go. This was very funny now. <laughs> Looking back, just very funny. In 2020, I think I really refined the system. As I already said, I started doing these every month and the sleep tracker I finally did. And I love these favorite spreads, by the way. They're just absolutely great. And you could just pause any of these if you want to see what I've written. It's not nothing fascinating, so... Yep, 19th birthday, that's <laughs> coming up again, which is going to be very fun. And I think we are finally getting to the end. This is forever going to be one of my favorites. We're finally getting to the end because I think last time I stopped at June. So, yep, May the 4th and June. This is where I stopped last time. Now it's <laughs> all filled out. As you can see, it wasn't a great month. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is what which wasn't filled in last time. And from here, I'm going to get into July, which is going to be a separate part because I'm, because I'm going to go. Okay, so this is where the new stuff comes in. And I always, always, for some reason, do a quote because I can't stand the blank space. So, yeah, I took a risk and put all of this in marker, which you can tell was not the best decision because these pages are thin, but it still somehow worked. I do like how this month turned out. It's pretty cool. And I read a lot in July and August. That number just went down by the month that I did Chronicles of Narnia because that's where I rewatched it. And I just put in random spreads when I feel like it, as you will see. Yep, 
Yeah, as soon as it's yellow, like, you can't really tell. <laughs> and these are different colors, by the way. It doesn't really look like that on camera. Okay, September. This is where we return to the aesthetic photos. <laughs> because I got tired of filling blank spaces with crap. This should just be my motto from September on. And then we get to October. And this is where I started doing this spread, but that's pointless when you don't have a lot of tasks. I really like how it looks though, so I think I'll adopt it again for the new notebook therapy journal. But it's a little bit more work, I gotta say. <laughs> this just didn't turn out as I wanted it, but it's fine. This especially was a mess. I had a way better idea of what this would look like in my head. November was just great. I I don't know what aesthetic I want to adopt because I don't draw, but I always pick a color for the month and then I just go with it. As you can see, I just go with the color, but I do not draw. <laughs> This was just, this was just sad. Sad to look back on. Then I did ranking my fictional boyfriends, which I'm pretty sure was in one of the videos. Then I did December, which I loved this aesthetic of like black and red. I think it looked really cool. And this washi tape, I'm not even sure if that is actual washi tape or just like stuff you put on presents but i love how it looks it's literally cool and these are for some reason way more difficult to see in like this <laughs> it looks more red in per person freedom yeah here i spent a lot of money as you can tell like a lot that was i mean it was christmas month I have no idea why I put Sleep Tracker after Best Book of the Month, but I think that was accidental and didn't want to didn't want to have to redo it. So you are going to notice that. Also, I yeah, this is on my Instagram. You're going to notice that every time I make a mistake, it's obvious I made a mistake, but I tweak it so it looks like it was made on purpose. <laughs> and yeah, because I can never be bothered to actually redo something, I will just make it look like it was on purpose. And yeah, this was my top books of the year movies and tv shows of the year <laughs> and then review of 2020 you can read that it's not that fun i mean i'm not one to really share <laughs> my personal feelings but i also kind of don't care so there's a balance and now we're going into 2021 now here is where the thing got very very bulging like i didn't stick in that many things here like when you close it <laughs> This part is significantly more difficult to contain, and you'll see why. Because I layered. I began layering and sticking in a lot of stuff. For example, here I have paper, then washi tape, then craft paper. So, I will probably do these again in my new journal, maybe, if I can be bothered. But I do kind of like how they look. <laughs> and here, yeah, a lot of craft paper, and then craft paper on top of these like I really like how January turned out actually I had like silver blue as an aesthetic but <laughs> yeah this is where it got really thick and this is just a printout from notebook therapy I just couldn't be bothered this month I really do like how this turned out though it looks very pretty and kind of actually satisfying and here's where I read the entirety of Attack on Titan which definitely definitely filled out my month for once again i did the sleep tracker after best book of the month no idea why but it turned out all right so and here we go here i did the spread when i started watching it because as soon as i'm obsessed with something it goes in the journal here we did february which just which just ended this was a mood that i need to remember This was also a little depressing, I'll, but here we are. 
I, I don't, I, every time I think about making this part like smaller, I feel like I'm already giving up. But this is just depressing to see. <laughs> Here I just did random quotes. I don't even know why. But it does look nice. I love writing with my fountain pen. Any excuse I get to get out my fountain pen, I will. <laughs> then I did like favors of February in terms of movies, TV shows, and music. But these, as you can see, are not no longer glued in. They're stuck in with double-sided tape, which honestly a life changer for my entire experience. I use this one, and it is literal heaven for everything. So if you can find double-sided tape, it is a marvel. And here we are to March, which isn't filled in clearly. And I went for gold and black because I hate gold. <laughs> like I hate the color gold. I don't know why. And I was like, let's just use some gold in this journal because you're never going to put gold in the new journal because you hate gold. So here we are. This actually looks very nice. I've got to give it I gotta give it that, but I hate, I hate the color gold and I have no idea why. <laughs> See, I sort of made up for the fact that I don't read that much anymore with memes. Also this, how I did that and how I did that. I made a mistake when I was making this and I sort of adapted it so that it looks like it was done on purpose. But I liked it so much, so I just did it again, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> I liked it a lot, so I did it again. Yeah, that's what I meant by fixing my mistakes by making them look like it it happened on purpose. And here we have the filler pages. March is the last month. I decided I would get into notebook therapy from my birthday month, which is April. And so I made March the last month here on purpose, but I had a lot of pages left over. 214, I think it has like 250. But I physically couldn't stand the thought that some of the pages would be left blank. So I filled them up with a lot of crap. For example, I just printed out top 10 characters of all time and literally just did that. <laughs> just, just did that. Like, <laughs> Levi's kind of falling out. We will ignore that. Then I was even more lost, so I was like, okay, let's just make a mood board <laughs> about reading. So that's what I did, and it is crumpled, I can tell now. We will ignore that. Then afterward, I did something which I hoped would be the last one. I printed this out, and I was like, however long the night. And then in the ending, which the last pages are a pen test and what to migrate. So for the last page, I did this, and I was like, however long the night the dawn will break and I do like the images I think they're very cool and in between I was like okay what the hell do I do now so I just wrote out quotes and poetry then I realized that that is not really aesthetically pleasing or not even a little bit so I printed out some favorite images again from my favorite fandoms I don't have much else <laughs> to put in here so I just like, okay, let's just print out photos and see what it looks like. And it looks really good, in my opinion. Like, this just looks good. I wrote out Death Note quotes, played around with the lettering a little, and how I cut it out. I don't know, it just looks so good to me. And I was like, huh, interesting, let's do it again. So I did it with Joker, and <laughs> my printer lost it at this point and just did the lines but I was like you know what who cares adapt and this is the magic tape that you can write on I wanted to use it and then I was like okay we are loving this so I started doing it again <laughs> then we have one side of the coin which is clearly Merlin here are the quotes here's the image I think it it just looks really good I made it so that like on the same page it's quotes on this page and like both images on this page so it doesn't like look crinkly <laughs> here we have the Loki spread which honestly gorgeous <laughs> I really love this one because like I have the green ink in my fountain pen and I think it really fit Loki then we did Castlevania <laughs> I'm just looking at the quotes and yeah then we did Castlevania, then we did, like, I know this is Anakin Skywalker, but I just did Star Wars quotes from the Clone Wars. 
And then the last one was Hades. Hades and Persephone quotes. And the quote from Hercules. And then we are finally to the ending. I'm going to have to empty this out and transfer it into the notebook therapy one. But I finally <laughs> completed a journal after two years. And I'm very, very excited to go into the new one with thick pages. But this is just two years of my work. And <laughs> I am so happy that I managed to fill it in in a way that isn't completely unsatisfying so let me know what you thought of it and if you liked it or if you have any questions and yeah that is it I'll see you when I fill out the new one which lord knows only when that will be see you next time